What is going on everyone? This is me, Prasanna Balakrishnan, back again. As you see, I'm back on my Chelsea top. And what a good way to start the season. Chelsea are the way for Super Cup champions for the first time in 23 long years. Yes, 1998 was the last time you won the way for Super Cup, beating Real Madrid with a late goal from Gus Poet. And 23 years later, we beat Villarreal on penalties. And uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. It's a wonderful start to the season. But before I get in this review, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and hit the bell notification to get notifications whenever I go live or do a video like this. Also share it to our Chelsea fan friends or in general football fan friends who love to watch the game of football. So many incidents today and we're going to talk about that now. But first, we'll start off with the lineup. The lineup, as you can see here, Chelsea lineup in their 3-4-2-1 um, formation. Mendy obviously in goal. Trevor Chalaba getting his first start for the club after having a good preseason. Zuma and Rudiger in defence. Kovacic and Kante the midfield too. Marcus Solonso and Callum Hudson are the win backs. Kai Havertz, Hakim Ziyech, and Timo Werner up front. So these are not the normal starters that you see in a in the scene a Chelsea game. You see generally see Reese James, you see Ben Chilwell, you see Jorginho, you see Thiago Silva, you see Aspilicueta. All of them were rested today. And uh, given that there's only three days' time and this game went to penalties, you will definitely see some rotation in for the first game against Crystal Palace. But the front three was strong enough. And Villarreal lined up 4-4-2. Uh, obviously, them being the Europa League champions, us being the Champions League champions, we played the Super Cup. And they lined up with Asenjo and goal, not Ruli, the one who was excellent, one who saved the penalty against Manchester United to help them win the cup. One for it, Raul Alviol, Pa Torres, Pedraza in defence, Alberto Marino, Etienne Capu, Manu Trigueros, Jeremy Pino in midfield, and Jaren Marino and Dia up top. So the game started and Chelsea got the early possession. We were dominating all these spells of the game, but it was a question of are we going to take our chances? First chance fell to Timo Werner and it was not a clear cut chance. It was a corner that came in and Werner just stuck his foot out um, in front of Alberto Marino and the keeper made a great save. And Kante minutes later, Steals the ball of uh, Villarreal player, shoots, goes wide of the goal. But we get the much deserved lead just to, um, minutes later. Um, Alonso putting in a good ball for high. Kai Havertz cuts it back in. Wonderful finish from Hakim Ziyech. And it's 1 into Chelsea. We are dominant in the game and we got the well deserved lead. And it was only a question of how much we're going to score at that point of time. But unfortunately, afterwards, Ziyech got injured. He fell badly on his shoulder. His shoulder got strapped. Hopefully, it's not a very serious injury. Hopefully, it can come back soon. But after that, we just fell off. We just tapered off. We were just passive and we were like... I, I, it's, it's like the players just thought 1-0 is enough. And that's that has been the problem for a while. You do not just sit on 1-0. You try to get the second. You try to get the third. And then you go on and try to win the game as, as big as it can. But the first half, it ended in 1-0. It should have been 1-1 to Villarreal. Uh, Moreno with a great shot that hit the post. Perfect technique on the volley, caught it super clean, but unfortunately hit the post, came back out. And before that also, there was a save from Dia, um, who had a shot, was, it was put in through on goal. Um, Mendy with a great save. And the second half, Viralia came out, all guns placing in the dominator, and they got the well-deserved equalizer. Mendy had to make some, make some crucial saves, and he even made a mistake in his kicking. He kicked it straight to the Viralia, straight to Viralia player. Gerard Moreno was in one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, he got his fingertips to it and he put it onto the post. But Jaron Moreno was not to be denied the second time of asking. Some great one-two in the box. Rudiger not marking Jaron Moreno. Kind of continuing from where he left off at the Euros, making mistakes. Not the Rudiger we saw last season towards the second end, second half of the season under Tuchel where he performed superbly. Um, Jaron Moreno gets in free. And when, you, when you're one-on-one -on -one against him, you're not, you're not going to save him. That's, that was a brilliant goal. And it looked like all for all money that Viralia were going to snatch the second goal and we're going to win. But we came back into the game eventually, um, even though there weren't many chances. There was one chance that Alonso had where he took it down brilliantly, but uh, uh, he shot just wide of the goal. It went to extra time. And when extra time came in, there were some changes. And both teams didn't really go hell and leather because we saw the tiredness come in and obviously... When extra time comes in, you are allowed to make the extra substitution. But the main talking point was at the almost towards the end of the second half, around the 118th minute, Chelsea bought on Kepa for Edouard Mendy, 
given that he was going to penalties and Kepa has saved penalties for Chelsea before. He has won us two penalty shootouts, one against Spurs in the Carabao Cup semi-final, the other one against Bayer, Le Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League semi-final. And he also saved a couple of other penalties. And so, it, I felt it felt right that Tuchel was going to bring on Kepa for the last for the penalty shootout. It did. And uh, we started off the penalty shootout quite badly. Havertz with a poor penalty, easily saved by Senho. And Villarreal stepping up to take the penalty. They scored. But uh, their second penalty, I think it was Mandy, it was. Uh, Kepa saved it. He guessed right. And... Uh, all other penalties were scored. Mason Mount scored a beautiful, good penalty. Alonso scored. Jorginho with a normal hop skip. He scored another one. Gerard Moreno scored. So all penalties were scored and came sudden death. Chelsea went to take the first penalty. Then uh, Rudiger scored. And then it was uh, the second penalty. Rudiger scored. And then it was Zal Orbiol, one of the most experienced people you would have wanted to take a penalty. He obviously took the one of the penalties in the Europa League final against Man United where they won. He coolly, calmly slotted into the corner. But this time, I don't know what happened to him. He just he hit a very tame penalty that Kepa saved. And Chelsea finally lifted the UEFA Super Cup after three un unsuccessful attempts. Um, we won the Champions League in 2012. But 2012 Super Cup, we got absolutely roasted by Atletico Madrid. Ramel Falcao absolutely done the show that night. 2013, we won the Europa League Super Cup. We lost on penalties to Bayern Munich. 2019, we won the Europa League, but we lost to Super Cup again on penalties to Liverpool. And this time, we won the Super Cup on penalties against Villarreal. And how fitting is it that Kepa should save these penalties after we all know what happened in the 2019 Carabao Cup final against Man City. Um, in, in, regular, in extra time, Kepa looks like he's injured. Um, Mauricio Sarri, the manager, then wants to substitute him off. For the specialist penalty keeper, then Willy Caballero, but but Kepa was like, no, no, just stay there. I want to be here. And sorry, we are now went into a rage and he almost went down the tunnel straightly. And, and we were all thinking, what the hell are you doing? Your manager is asking you to come off, come off the pitch. He's the manager of Raw. You have to listen to his instructions. But at the end of the day, they didn't happen. We ended up losing the penalty shootout, even though he ended up saving one. But I thought there were some good performances in today. Kante was as usual, just he is literally everywhere. He can do anything. He can dribble with the ball. He can steal player of possession. He can run for he can run for the whole 90 minutes. And when he, he was brought off, there was a it was it was say something missing in the game that Kante generally brings. No disrespect to Jorginho, no disrespect to Kovacic, but Kante is just Kante. And special mention to Trevor Chaloba. I thought he had a fantastic game. Another one of our academy products. He had a very good preseason. Tuchel has seen something in him that suggested that he should be playing more this season. He has told the Chelsea board clearly that do not sell him come what may. And uh, he was brilliant today. He did have some ropey moments because understandably so. You're playing your first competitive big game. You are bound to make some mistakes even though you train. Even though you play more friendlies and train training matches. When it comes to the big games... There are moments where you're going to make the mistake or two and how you react from that. Second half, he was absolutely bossing the defense. He was clearing when he needed. He got last his tackles when needed. I remember one um, I remember one tackle where he, where one Villarreal player was running down the wing and he absolutely slid into him. That was an absolute perfect tackle. He couldn't have done it any better. And special props to Trevor Chalaba. He has had a good preseason. He played well against Arsenal. He also played well against Bournemouth. Hopefully, he can play. He can have more game time this season. Hopefully, we do not send him out on loan. Um, other players to talk about: Kai Havertz. Um, he got the assist, but he missed the penalty. Kristen Pulisic missed a massive chance in extra time, um, which we could have done with. If he had scored that, that would have probably be the game done. Um, it was a slightly difficult chance, but I expect someone of his quality. To put it in the back of the net, but he unfortunately couldn't do it. But anyway, we ended up winning the Super Cup, and uh, some of our experienced players coming on uh, as substitutes. Aspilicueta came on, uh, Jorginho came on, and uh, Mason Mount came on. He was he didn't start, but uh, he came on. Uh, Andres Christensen came on, and obviously the, the other one was Kepa, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But uh, it's a good start to the season. Uh, we have won the UEFA Super Cup. The Premier League starts on Saturday. Uh, Crystal Palace, we host Crystal Palace um, 
on the Saturday. It is a, it's a 9 a.m. kickoff for me here in the United States in Texas. I will be mostly doing a watch along. Do watch out for that. Thank you everyone for watching this um, video. If you're new to this channel, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my socials that are running in the ticket below, and hit the bell notification to get notified every time I upload a video or go live. But till then, to everyone who is staying home, stay home, stay safe, and wash them hands.